So we're for the people. I have a lot of a lot of suggestions in the Sneaky Soft Question Discord server. How to make a lot of money. Everybody keeps asking this. How I have over hundred thousand, close to two hundred thousand actually. Anyway, I'll be discussing a couple things that you that you can do to get a lot of money. Disclaimer: Some things um, may only apply mid game. I'm talking about like. Twelve thousand dollars per day. For number one, we got the spaghetti hotline. This is mid game. You have to invest at least, I forgot, but I, I think it's at least $7,000 into this business. Um, it'll be way booming in money. It'll be really good when it comes to money if you invest, though. Like a lot of, like $12,000 if you just, if you just go to sleep eight times in a row, you'll get a lot of money. Maybe even twenty thousand if you're if you've just been doing sleeping, teleporting, sleeping again twenty times. Maybe like twenty thousand. I don't know. Maybe actually, yeah, like a lot of money. Anyway. Number two is honestly one of my funniest and favorite ones to do. It's the island campground. Because I can mess around there and at the same time get get a lot of cash. So what I do, you'll, you'll see later on, I put a lot of valuable stuff like burgers, jerky, put spaghetti in there, I put tacos, nachos, anything that's worth over $50, I put in that food. So you'll eat. The higher quality of item it is, the more money they'll get it from you in the Oh, and no, um, by the way, you need to invest a lot of lumber and money as well to be able to have to pull this off and make this island. It also gives you a lot of reputation in just, just in general. Yeah, anyway, if you get Ranger Danger, nobody will care. I mean, somebody will care, and that's the Ranger Duck, but Ranger Duck is your friend. He doesn't get you. He doesn't. He's in a snitch. He doesn't snitch on the island Ranger. Um, anyway, so this is pretty nice. See, look, I got money in the safe. Open it up, any code will do. Lots of money. A lot of money. That, that's only five, it's only like three or five days of doing it, by the way. So, it's very useful to do as well. Anyway, here's my cooler. Yeah. Uh, this is just a fraction of my net worth. I've invested a lot of my net worth into burgers, nachos, fries etc. Sushi as well. Okay, and for number, I'll oh, hold on. For number three, we got doing races and snowball fights. So right now, races. So first we're gonna do, um, this is part of Spaghetti and Island. You're just gonna need to, so this is how you do it. First, you sleep. I, I like to do this in the Arctic because you're the closest in a house. So, so do this. So sleep. So then go to your map, fast travel to the same place, and then sleep again. Because the money in the safes in both Spaghetti Hotline and Island it regenerates every day. It gives you like a certain amount of money per day. And hold on, I'm gonna put all this, all this cash money into my ATM. You know, trying to get a million by the end of this year. Just getting on the grind. You might see me at 300k by the end of this month. Seems pretty impossible, but knowing me, I'll just rob the port 50 times. Okay. Oh, by the way, robbing the port is an option, but it, it's an option, but it's pretty hard in time. To anyway, see, I got the money. Main regenerator. Get like, I don't know, 300, 350, I think. I don't know. Anyway, an island campground. 
yeah, it's, it regenerates as well. Anyway, races are another way. See, I already completed all the races, but if you've if you not completed all the races, do so. Especially the Sasquatch 100. It's not that much money, but doing it will make you feel much more accomplished than happy and sneaky stuff. But trust me, it feels very satisfying to do it and finally win. Um, anyway, next thing you gotta do is snowball fights. Snowball fights are very good. I still do them when I'm running on cash, even if I've beaten all of them because survival gives you a lot of money and it's pretty easy to do. All I gotta run, all I gotta do is run from some people. That's all I gotta do. Three hearts, run from some people. Anyway, all snowball fights, uh, they give you a good amount of cash. Just please, whatever you do, don't do time trial. Do not do time trial unless you're going for completion. It is hell and it only gives you 200 coins. Not worth it. To not worth it as well, but again, if you're good at time trial, you might as well do it. I'm not good at that crap. Okay, well, skiing montage. All right, as you can see here, we're at the snowball fight area. See, I've done all of these already, but survival gives you 300 even if you completed it. It's not even that hard. You can just kind of run from like 30 people, I think. I think it's 20 or 30, it's not that much. But anyway, so next thing, next thing is pretty overpowered. It regenerates every um, one to two days. And this is the goldfish. So unlike the sea cucumber, oh my god, not the sea cucumber, I literally want like, to kill myself when I have to like, drink like sea cucumber. Anyway, unlike the sea cucumber, the goldfish is actually rigged. It says everywhere but rare. It's not everywhere, it's only in one place as I know it. And it's this place right here. Alright, here we are. It's between sawmill and ski, and ski place. I forgot. Uh, yeah, Sasquatch Mountain. That's it, yeah. Anyway, it's in this little lake near the Dandelion. It's also where the treasure map epilogue um, takes place. Let's see. It looks like a normal fish, right? Err, uh, you're wrong. Goldfish. It happens every time. I would show it again, but I kind of don't have the time to just keep sleeping again and again over here, over here. So. All right. That's the last method, I guess. That's the end of the video. I mean, you can you can make the gold. The goldfish center gen did help. I mean, the food level, but it does sell a lot for the bears. And if you put in trash, make it smell, and give it to the trash bear at the sawmill, you'll you'll, you'll get like four hundred dollars for a single goldfish. Crazy, right? Terror 1.